assistant coach Kale Gundy at yep. Oklahoma resigned. Jake, can you break this down for us here? Yes. So what I was told from from a source within the program is that, and if you don't know Kale Gundy, he's been around the program forever. He's the older brother of Mike Gundy, the head coach of Oklahoma State. What I was told is I think a player was on an iPad, and it's one of those situations where you're supposed to be doing something, and the teacher catches you passing a note, and then the teacher reads the note out loud. But he read, and again, this is from a source. I'm not not going to reveal a source, but I'm, I trust him. He's, he's really close to the program. Said that it was a it was a lyric, a song lyric that he read out loud without really thinking about what he was saying, and it was a derogatory term. I'm not gonna use the letter of the term that it starts with. I think you can probably guess it if you think long enough. Turns out, he, he self-reported it. He went and told the higher-ups, hey, this is what happened. The team wanted him to stay. They were not mad. But once the administration, who is, I was told by the source, is pretty woke, but which one's not, when you really look at it, they, they said, no, this, you have to, you, we have to fire you, this and, and the team is very, very upset. And you know, I'm a firm believer in two things can be true at once. There's some things that, that you say that, that it's, it's just, you can't say that. But on the other hand, I, I think if the team rallies around you and, and says, listen, like we know who you are. We know that you didn't say this with any prejudice or, or anything like that. Um, but again, I guess Oklahoma, from a liability standpoint, I, I don't know exactly how it works, but you just hate to see this. It's an awful situation all around. And, you know, you pulled a Ron Burgundy. And it puts Brent Venables in a tough situation. It does. He's First-year head coach, hasn't even coached a game yet. You're not one of his guys, really. I mean, you're an Oklahoma guy, and Brent's an Oklahoma guy, so you have that. But it's not like an assistant who's been with Brent Venables for a long, long time who you brought over. And so it just it creates a bad situation. Do you think there's an opportunity where he could go coach with his brother? I, I would not be shocked. Uh, I, I don't, again, I don't think this is something where people are going to start thinking Kale Gundy is a terrible person. No, Kale no, Gundy I mean, looks a certain way. But yeah. I will say, intent I matters. Bet, intent matters. Yeah, still. Intent, with, intent with, with your matters, actions still. in life. That's exactly. You know? right. But you know, if Brent Venables was coming off a ten-win season in his first year at Oklahoma, then you can probably go in that to those administrators and say, you know what, team doesn't want him gone. I don't want him gone. And they say, you okay, know? well, I, 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 I think. Again, brand new head, first head coaching job. Big one in Oklahoma. Got a lot to prove. People are excited. And again, I am too. I think it was a great hire. He's not in a position. At I know, and point. I hate that. I hate tying decisions like this to either success but or it's failure the real world, on the though. field. Whatever's right is right, no yep. matter what you did. But Whatever's that, wrong is wrong. And then, you know, and then that's that's a good area to to lean on the team and say, like, hey, was this wrong? Again, we're not, we don't have all the From all reports, the team wanted it. You know, back. and I don't know, it just intent yes, intent yeah. still matters. Um, but there are some things, regardless of intent, right? Yeah. Like, if you if you kill someone in a drunk driving accident, intent matters because if you did it on purpose or on accident, the punishment's going to be different. But the person who lost their life, the intent doesn't matter. So, look, it's a complex situation all the way around. Yeah, I mean, I think it comes out. You just can't say it. You can't say that. Like, you're not. Am I? I don't think he'll coach. Probably another day in college football. Well, I mean, he's, I just, he's I mean, older I, I'm, too. I, but yeah, true, you just can't say that. I'm like, I don't. There's, I don't care if you're reading it, what was behind it, or anything like that. Yeah. You cannot mm -hmm. say that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you just hey, again. I just, I do have a hard time thinking though. I never really, like that. That word would stand out to me. If I was reading something, yeah, that I, I but like that. that. That's the part I'm kind of like. You didn't see that because I know what happens when you read. You look at the word, then you say the word. Mm -hmm. You don't say the word and then look at the word. I just, I guess you got wrapped up. You're not paying attention. But again, it kind of is what it is. It just, you know, there's uh, like we said, there's some things you can say, there's some things you can't say. Mm -hmm. If you like that content, go ahead and subscribe because we're going to be balling every day on Crane and Company. Hit that like button while you're at it and go ahead and smash it like Derrick Henry on an ISO run.